There you go. How do you find on that topic the love of your life? That's a good question. I was asked that multiple times on my tour, three times in a row, in fact, because we asked people to use this Slido gadget. That's a to, popular question. To vary. It always came up to the top. And <laughs> I got asked that three times in a row, and I didn't have a good answer. And then I thought, why don't I have a good answer? I thought, oh, I know why. Because that's a stupid question. <laughs> So, so why? Yeah. Why? Because it's, it's putting the cart before the horse. Here's the right question. How do I make myself into the perfect date? You answer that question, and you will not have any problem answering Pause. the previous question. That it's is like, the question. How are you making yourself into the perfect date for your partner in the future? Or how Most of the time women say they're improving themselves or et cetera. How are you proving yourselves when it comes to dating? Um, just showing that I can bring whatever I have to the table. I mean, I okay. shouldn't have to change or like improve myself for a date. I should okay. just be myself. Okay. And what are those things? Do you know? No. Okay. <laughs> Same question. I think people carry a lot of baggage from other relationships. Mm. So I think it's best that to be the perfect date, you just kind of go in and with an open mind and not really have other people's you know, effects on you. Yeah. And how are you actively approving yourself to be on a, a good date for someone? I think you just, if something, if they do something or say something that has happened before that makes you insecure, you kind of just accept that this is a new person and they're not, you know, going okay. to do the same thing to you. Okay. And then, same thing. So, um, there's, there's different answers for a man and a woman when it comes to making. Oh, yourself. don't say that. Don't say the woman one though, because right, right. I'm gonna go back around with them. Yeah. So there's different answers when it comes to making yourself the perfect date. I think that um, what men and women should do is look at their, you know, look at the type of man that they want and understand what he wants. That's the biggest thing. So, um, you know, in this day and age, there's more of an understanding from a man's point of view of what women want, but there's lack of understanding uh, from a woman's point of view of what men actually want. So, okay, hold on, pause really, really quickly. Sorry, I cut you off. Mm -hmm. What is it that men want? He just said a very clear statement. I want to ask you, ladies, what is it that men want? Hmm. Mm. An untouchable woman. <laughs> okay, meaning what? Like, break it down. I want to see if he's right or if he's wrong. I mean, not to go back. I mean, someone who's not easily accessible, mm. someone who has goals, who's driven, who can take mm. care of themselves, mm. okay. confident, Okay. Um, has something to bring to the table, like she said. But like what? Like, what is that something? That's what I'm asking. Obviously, a stable job. You're, you're making some type of income for yourself. It may not be as much as the man, but you're <laughs> able to be and provide by yourself. Huh? I know the answer. <laughs> you know the answer? <laughs> okay, go ahead. A go man ahead. wants a submissive and loyal woman. Oh, God. Who told you that? Uh, Y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But you're missing one. Attractive. Go ahead. Yeah, but I mean, just to finish off, so like when it comes to men making yourself, um, you know, what, what women want, obviously a lot of that is going to be outside of your control. So as a guy, you, you have to control what you can control. So... One thing that you control is, um, you know, your, your your physical shape, you know, your physicality, how how good in shape you are. You can also work on building your finances, building your money, working yourself up so that, um, you know, women will find you attractive once they see the full package. Because yes. most of the time, women judge a book by its cover, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and they're going to say, OK, is he lit or is he not off rip? Is he attractive or is he not off rip? So a lot of things you, you know, typically cannot control as far as, you know, you know, they, they talk about the six sixes, you know, your height or your dick size. Those just things like that you can't control, but you can control how much money you're bringing in. You can control how hard you work and you can control your um, your physicality and, um, you know, your body. That's why you guys need to sign up for the Reclaim Your Throne <laughs> D1. And then Paul's, do y'all agree? Because he literally just broke down what women want. I want to know from the woman, is that actually true or is that actually false? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then going back to what you said, I'm going to be honest. Most men don't care about how much money you make like that. Like, and most men actually don't care about your confidence. You was naming a lot of things that men actually don't care about. So what men actually care about is what she said earlier, which is attractive, loyal, feminine. Everything else stems from under those three things. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Trent. <laughs> She's like, all right, I'm done. What I want in a partner. Mm -mm. If I offered everything I could to a partner, who would I be? You work on that. Ask that question. Just ask. Just ask yourself, okay, I have to be the person that women would want. Yes. Okay, what do they want? Clean. That's not a bad start. <laughs> Hygiene. Reasonably good physical shape. Mm hmm So healthy. Productive. Generous. Honest. Mm, I don't know what I want. I don't know. I don't know about that one there, boy. Oh shit! Pause really, really quickly. Um, man, I don't know about that one there, buddy. You, <laughs> when it comes to honesty, most women will say that they want honesty, but they actually don't want honesty. But you was about to say something. Go ahead. I was gonna say he lost me at generosity and honesty because yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously a woman wants you to be able to share with her but um yep. a lot of women nowadays will take advantage of that i.e you know 33 percent of women according to the new york times or the new york post rather are going on foodie dates with men with no mm -hmm. intention for you know you know fucking with them physically or seeing a relationship out of it so yeah you can be generous all you want but you're going to get used and abused so um when it comes to generosity i would say for one you need to you need to make sure that she's providing value to your life before First. you go before you go on that damn generous tip and whatnot. <laughs> because, like, yeah, you can be generous all you want, but all you're gonna do is, you know, be, be make her not respect you. Going That's on, actually, exactly yeah. going on a lot of dates and getting no pussy. So you could like spend all the money. You could take her on dates and be generous and and whatnot and, and spend a bag on her like they're saying that they want. But at the end of the day, these guys that are quote unquote spending a bag on them are getting used, and then the guys that they really want to sleep with are getting the pussy. So. Right. Was well, you about to say, go ahead. Yeah. Was he not speaking about the the women though? He was speaking about the men with the generous. Well, well, he was he was saying that you know what do women want as a guy, and he was like, oh, okay, well, women want a guy who's generous, honest, clean, da 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 da. But I mean, even like nowadays, like I see women who like are complaining, like, oh my god, this guy he didn't clean his room, and I went over his crib, and he had clothes everywhere. <laughs> so it's like, do they really want a clean nigga? Because like for me, if I go to a bitch <laughs> crib and her and her room is not clean, I'm leaving. Like I'm not yeah. even gonna fuck her. But um, you know, women if they find a guy attractive enough. They're willing to overlook those things. Oh, this is just how guys are. No, that's not how guys are. 